What's going on? It's your boy Go DJ. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Maddie D. And this is the motherfucking plug, you hear? Alright. I think that this has been a big week where we've literally felt like we gotta sit down today and talk with our people, with our fans, and like people we vibe with and people who know music. Alright, if you know music and you wanna talk music, Come get plugged in with us. Okay. Well, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so a lot of stuff happened this week in the culture and hip hop and music period. So one thing is um, rest in peace to Mac Miller, which is really, really sad. Um, yeah. yeah. Shit was weird. Like definitely a weird person to I don't think I was expecting that at all. I think what what kind of shocked me the most was like he just went through all that stuff with Ariana Grande and her finding a new boyfriend and all the rest of the stuff. And it's like now he overdosed. And it's like I feel like to me personally, overdoses sometimes might not be expected by the person, but they definitely know the levels and like limits they're pushing when they take a lot of drugs. So it, who knows if it could have been a suicide, if it could have been... You know, it, it might not have been planned, but it's like, you know what your body can tolerate and what your body can take, and we, we try to push those limits sometimes when we're, we're battling with too much, so. I know that was actually one of the reasons why Ariana Grande said that they broke up was because she just felt that he was putting a lot on her emotionally, trying to help him better himself and feeling like she was, you know, put through a lot and stressed out a lot over him, so. Yeah, but My condolences to his family, and I really, you know, to any young artist out there, don't feel like you have to do drugs to just be in hip hop, or you feel like you have to do drugs to cope with things, because that's not the case at all. Yeah, Going back to like, 09 when he came out, like, that shit was fire. Just his whole, him, Wiz, um, those are a few people that came up at the, at the same time, and I just remember just like, really listening to that but at that time I was going through stuff in life and it was like his sound that that's why it kind of spooked me out because like his sound reminded me a lot of like my past life mm -hmm. so it was like this is weird like man and then I, then I keep listening to all the stuff and I'm like damn this just brought me back you know what I'm saying yeah definitely a talented artist and um condolences to him man it definitely makes you think too like your life is really short you know like Dealing with a lot of the stuff in hip hop right now where, you know, people are beefing or not beefing or, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you look at it and you're like, yo, someone really just lost their life. They'll never even get the opportunity to be in a beef again or they'll never be an opportunity to, you know, like you start looking at things a lot differently. Um, speaking of which, beef, um, Nikki and Cardi, like, this week also went down a little crazy. Yeah, how you feel about the ratchet that's going on? I mean, one thing I can say for sure is the way Nicki Minaj is acting is crazy. Like to me, being a fan of hers, and I mean a real fan of Nicki Minaj, I feel like everything she's doing is like a little off. Because she's saying like, she does comment a lot on women's parenting and you're not a parent. So it's like, you really have no place to talk about someone else as a parent or disrespect someone as a parent. Like, I'm not a parent, so I would never go out of my way to be like, oh, why doesn't this girl have her kid? Or like, da da da. But she, then she went on like the Queen Radio and said, oh, I don't give a shit about anyone as a parent and what they're doing. I never comment on anyone's parenting skills. But it's like, you did. Even when you dissed Remy Ma, the first thing you said was what type of mother yeah. leaves her one son over a stack? What type of mother... Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're talking about people's parenting skills. You, she's talked about little Kim's parenting skills, Remy Ma's parenting skills. She's talked about Cardi B. Like, she indirectly, even Kylie Jenner. Like, she's brought up Kylie Jenner's baby. So it's like, who are you to be this big mother, fairy godmother, just because you get to call people your sons? It's like, it makes you look delusional. And you say that delusional. way too much. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and, like, I really am a fan of hers, so I'm like... Looking at it from my point of view, I'm like, damn, how am I gonna defend this? Speaking of which, the Barbs better stop coming for me, yeah. all right? I said one time the video was whack. Her new Barbie jeans video is whack, whack. The best thing about that video is 
her wigs. Yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out, yeah. She's looking a little booty and shit. Yeah. But that's all camera editing and shit. Shout out to Aragante. Ar- is it Aragante? Aragante. He's a wig guy, but. But they were coming at your soul. They did come at my soul. But the, what was they saying? What's like one of your like. Which which comment really got you heated? What comment made you laugh? And like, which comment was you like, yo, yo, corny as fuck? <laughs> the funniest ones were like, um, you know, people were basically saying like, oh, but you still liked it, you still watched it, you still viewed it, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm a fan. So obviously I'm gonna watch it, and obviously I'm gonna comment on it because as a fan and a, a person who loves music. I'm gonna want to talk about why she made this whack ass video because she just like, wanted to put something out. Yeah. It, it was, wasn't finished. You could tell there was supposed to be more to the video. If you know music. There was in one spot, three different things. It's just like, all right, we get it. It was probably supposed to be a whole nother portion to the video, but she's thinking I might as well capitalize on the fact that my name is being talked about. Being talked about a lot right now. So then I could just drop this video and people will be distracted by it. But her PR person needs to be fired. They suck. Cause Nicki, like Cardi B, flipped that whole shit into her being a victim of of uh, mother bashing. Like, cre- uh, shout out to the cream agency, y'all a fire PR every time she does. She kills it, King P. She's a beast. Um, but yeah, so people kept saying like, "Haha, you watched it. You're so dumb. You're not smart." Blah blah. Then the barb started going in on my shoulders. You know, I had to hit him with the shoulders. Diesel. They was calling me a big shoulder bitch. <laughs> so. <laughs> That one made me laugh because at the end of the day, I built these fucking shoulders, okay? Can't nobody say shit. I built these shoulders. I did a hell of a lot of push-ups. I love these shits. These shits is fire. So you know, I was like, I was like, thank you, thank you, because these these shoulders are great. Um, and then one that got me heated was some yo, whoever you are, just fly guy, 1918 or some shit. (laughs) Yo, what, what you're happens? ugly as shit. Don't ever try to disrespect nobody else with that bald ass head. Like this nigga had no neck and just a big ass head, mad bald, spit shining. Like he had to have been like five two. Like you should never try to roast anybody ever in your life, ever. Talking about like, oh, you're fat, so nobody cares what you have to say. Like people technically care what I have to say. Like fat or not, so. Boo. Facts. Like you're a loser. Facts, this would be your most relevant moment right here is me mentioning your name. <laughs> but um, <laughs> fucking, but yeah, she's throwing a shoe at the chorty, and then she had the little knot. That was from security, I'm guessing. So yeah, what happened actually, was like, they never actually touched each other, which I think is very whack. Like, well, I don't know. I guess like she's basically saying like I'm a million dollar asset, like a millions worth millions of dollars. You will never be able to touch me. Mm-hmm. But it's like so is Cardi B, and she was still ready to pop off, and she don't care. You know, so it's like everyone has different values and morals. Yeah. So, like, people are saying, like, yo, she shouldn't be acting like that because she has to protect her her entity or her whatever. But how do you feel, like, you're defending yourself, but then you got to defend your money, your, mm. your career. Like, if you act up, that can, like, just, you can lose deals, you can do that. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I think because Cardi B right now is technically one of the biggest artists in the game right now. She's still charting. She's number. F- Her album has technically been out for 20 something weeks and she's just as high as Nicki Minaj who just dropped an album last month. So it's like people can say what they want, but they're not going to cut out Cardi B and, and say to her, you can't come here, you can't do this because you defended yourself. That's one. You know, like Hollywood's very different. They might try not to invite her to the same shit, or whatever. And you know, the preppy people might be like, "Oh, that that was so ghetto, or whatever." But anyone who has a child, especially who just had a child, is gonna go through great lengths to defend their name, their honor, their everything. And I think Nicki Minaj doesn't understand from that point of view because she's never been in that position. She's never had a child, and I think it also, honestly, it bothers her that this girl came out of nowhere, was able to live the life she wanted. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah, like, it doesn't matter what what type of woman you are. Every woman wants to be able to balance a career and have a child. And she sees that Cardi B is able to do that. And I think it really bothers her because it's like, damn, I've been in this rap game seven years, eight years now, and I can't even stop to have a child. How did she do that? And how dare she do that? 
You know, I think it makes her feel threatened. Yeah, I feel, I don't know. I feel like Cardi played it smooth and played it right. And I feel like she kept it real the whole time. That's why people fuck with her. Mm. And like, even the way she presented the child, like, everything just flowed well and she's still good. She's chilling. But besides that beef, we just squashed the beef in Boston, in New England. Hey, shout out to fucking Boston. Legit. I wish I was there. I know. I didn't go to the, not one of them damn concerts. I'm heated. So what he's referring to is Drake and Meek Mill made up on stage this weekend in Boston. For, well, 45 minutes away from us. Yeah, still New England, baby. We still out here. Still in New England. They made up in New England. And it was like the craziest thing. Yeah. I've seen videos everywhere. People were sending videos to me left and right. I'm like, yo, shit, like this is crazy. I My boy came there. out like a fucking, you know what I'm saying, out the, the woodwork. Came out that. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. And that was really my favorite Meek Mill song. I'm such a big Meek Mill fan that I am so, I was in Atlanta and I couldn't even go. So I feel like that stressed me out so much. Yo, did you see the fucking memes? Everyone's just like all the Drake fans, the low key Drake fans that loved Meek from Philly and shit. It's like, mm. now we can fuck with Drake. We can fuck with <laughs> yeah, Drake. seen that. Yo. It was like, I hated Drake. Yeah. I, he was like, but I really loved him. <laughs> I used to want to sing along. <laughs> I couldn't. Be in the club like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people probably in Philly was doing that shit. Yeah. Couldn't really fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But Loyalty is royalty, all right? I was still rocking with you, Meek. I was still rocking with you, but you know. But yeah, that was that was a dope thing, you know. I wonder what like was going through his head. I, I guess like they probably spoke while he was in jail. You mm. know what I'm saying? They probably been squashed it and just wanted to present it like better, like cause yeah. Because I, I know like he was kind of supporting that whole shit when he when he was in jail and when he got out and like you know what I'm saying. So I feel like they been spoke. Cause, Definitely. Like shit like that. Rap beef was different. It didn't get real deep and personal, but like, it was yeah, really it wasn't like, like super. Like he didn't talk about his kids or nothing. Like it wasn't no Drake push a T type thing. Yeah, so yeah, that's the difference. I don't want to talk about that one. No more. Yeah, what I think is crazy too is that um, the fact that Meek Mill, it he like one that they did it in Boston. They they didn't do it in Philly. They didn't do it in Toronto. They didn't do it anywhere else. I just thought it was crazy. It was probably had to do with the dates, you know, like that Meek Mill could come out, but mm -hmm. I just thought it was so dope that they did it in Boston and like. I think, I think the dates, because you know how like Meek Mill fucks with Robert Kraft. Yeah, he, yeah. He was he was with Robert Kraft in the helicopter, went to the uh, to the Patriots game. Like, yeah. The next day, so it was like I feel like that was like a perfect timing. Football just started. That was the first game. So yeah. So they definitely. I feel like it was like it was a good time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was fire. I also think it was a good time in hip hop for them to squash the beef. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was one of those times where you're like, it, well, not even one of those, like one of those times, but it was one of those things where you're like, wow, you know, like who knew? Like I, I was. Not I didn't know. That at all. I didn't. But know. it's just weird how like the Nicki and Cardi beef start. Now they end. It's like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. This is weird as shit. Very trippy. Speaking of jail, when Meek Mill, like you were talking about Meek Mill getting locked up, mm -hmm. Lil Pump is actually gonna be going to jail for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, but he said so he put out a video saying like before we end up before I get locked up, I'm gonna drop some heat. So I'm thinking like, like I'm not the biggest Lil Pump fan, but he doesn't make horrible stuff. Yeah. And he releases this song with Kanye West yeah. that is um during the Pornhub Awards. And it's a little raunchy, I guess. A little funny, a little comedic. Yeah. You know, with the freaking little box thing. Like, it was different. But like, it was. it's a good song, but a lot of people's like, yo, why is this 46 year old dude trying so hard to like, stay relevant? Little pump and shit. It was a different sound, you know, from him. I, you could tell Kanye kind of like wrote it. Like put it together. I was like, do this. do this. Or he got the vocals from Lil Pump and was like, because that's what Kanye does. He'll have you like do a reference track mm -hmm. and then next thing you know, a song's made. Mm -hmm. Like Tayana Taylor said that she gave him all the vocals for her album and then it, she got the album back and it was a whole nother album. 
her vocals were all cut up or like her vocals were made different. Like, whose song would you would you say it is though? Is it? Kanye's it's definitely song? Kanye's song yeah. because. If anything, Kanye has enough power in him to give a throwaway song because he could he could put in a little pumps and be like, oh yeah, it's that way while you're in jail, you could take this residual. But Kanye wants something in return. You know what I mean? He's not gonna do that just to do it. Like he's if he's gonna do it, he's gonna be like, Yeah, but when you get out, you gotta do this for me and you gotta record this. Yeah. You know what but I mean? then like going back to what I was saying as far as like this forty six year old guy is trying to make himself so relevant with these younger Popping dudes, he's trying. I seen a picture with him in six nine. Yeah. And like, you could just tell like he's trying to get all the the hit makers. You know what I'm mm-hmm. But that's always been Kanye though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. I know, but he this, either this pulls from. This generation is weird. Yeah, it's just different. And he's always he's either pulled from past people or brought the new people up with him. Like, um, I feel like Kanye and Drake are the only two artists that a feature from them is gonna skyrocket your career but Kanye is not just doing features with anybody unless you already kind of have a branding behind you yeah. like look at like shake like shake was 070 shake shout out to her she's a beast, she's a beast but nobody she was on fabulous's mixtape nobody knew who she was so she was on Kanye's album um and she, her name wasn't even like featured by because none, none of them were but you just hear her voice and like who's this like, yeah you have to be like yo and she's been really dope but she, and she's been co-signed but it was just like once you get to Kanye it's like that's a whole nother level of you know what I mean like fame really even Tiana Taylor I don't think anyone was really vibing with her until she started in his video you know what I mean like she was always cool and like the industry fucked with her but she didn't like her fan base was never like oh gung ho for her Tiana's music until you know what I mean But you're such a fucking hoe. I love it. We can't front like it's not a bop though. It is. It is. It, is, it, it was a good. It was a good song to for the. Uh, what's it called? The Pornhub and shit. Yeah. 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 Well, just we just wanted to spend a little time with you guys, plug you in, just some things we got going on, some current events and hot topics. Uh, let us know if you rock with this. Comment below and say thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys are lit. Maddie, you got lit shoulders. Don't front. Say something nice. <laughs> Send a little positivity our way. Oh my God! Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, once again, follow us at This Is The Plug on everything. I am Go DJ. I'm your girl Maddie D. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is the plug. Can you be my plug?